When you live in a country where English isn't the first language, you quickly get used to foreign words and names being mispronounced. It happens with everything. Instead of saying pizza, some people say pizza. Instead of saying sushi, some people say sushi. And when it comes to video games, people wouldn't usually pronounce Luigi as Luigi. They'd say Luigi, like with a Y instead of a G. Instead of saying Smash Brothers, some people say a Smash Brothers. But all of these are still understandable, so it's fine. And when I'm talking in Spanish with other dudes, I also pronounce things in this way. Like instead of saying Silent Hill, I say Silent Hill. Because to some people, it sounds kind of douchey to be talking in Spanish and then suddenly pronounce something in English absolutely perfect. So if I'm talking in Spanish and I want to say, I was hungry, so I went to McDonald's, I say, tenía hambre, así que fui al McDonald's, and not, tenía hambre, así que fui al McDonald's. So anyways, for years and years I'd gotten used to people saying things a bit different than how they were supposed to be pronounced. But then there came a time when I met a guy from school that blew everyone else out of the water with the way he'd say stuff. Now, I should point out that playing video games wasn't seen as a normal or cool thing to do when I was in school. It was considered an immature and childish sort of thing. So if you were a guy, you'd talk about cars or soccer and not video games. So because of this, I'd trained my ears to look out for anybody making any sort of video game reference because it was so rare to find someone else that was into playing games. So if someone mentioned key words like 1UP or Mario or Zelda, then I knew I could approach that person and not have to talk about car stuff. So I'm at school at my locker getting some books out and my ears detect a video game reference coming from close by. So I approach two dudes that are talking near me. I hear one kid mentioning something about Samus, so now I know what game they're talking about. But then the other guy, he responds by saying, Oh yeah, Metroid is a great game. And that's when my mind gets blown and the words echo throughout my head. Met. Roid. It was at this point that I couldn't help but interrupt their conversation and ask the guy what game they're talking about just to see if he'd say it again. So the dude looks at me and he says, oh, we're just talking about Metroid. So then I start going through the different ways I'd heard it said before. He didn't say Metroid. He didn't say Metroid. He didn't even say Metroid. There's a pause when he says it. Why is there a pause? Metroid. Met. Roid. It's just one word. So he continued talking about video games and I keep hearing him say things in ways that keep blowing my mind. When talking about Toad from the Mario games, he'd call him Todd. Not Toad, not Toad, but Todd. The word one up came up in the conversation and he didn't say one up, he didn't say guanap, he said youp, like replacing the one with an I. And I can tell that he isn't saying these things weirdly on purpose or anything. He's not even noticing that he's saying things in this way, and I'm absolutely fascinated. So we became friends, and I started going over to his place to play games. But whenever we were playing, I'd catch myself focusing less on playing the game and focusing more on how he'd pronounce certain names or places. Because after playing games with him at his place, I'd always go back to my place and begin theorizing and creating my hypotheses. Do you remember when I mentioned that people say Luigi with a Y instead of Luigi? So I took Banjo-Kazooie over to his place as an experiment because I knew a lot of the names had J's and J sounds in them. Banjo, Jinjo, Jiggy. So he starts looking through the instruction manual before we play the game and I'm hovering over him as he reads through it. And when he gets to the characters section, I'm hoping that he's going to pronounce Banjo, Banjo, but he gets to him and he pronounces it perfectly, Banjo. And then he gets further into the manual and he starts reading about all the collectibles and I'm hoping he's going to say Yinyo instead of Jinjo, but he also pronounces it perfectly, Jinjo. So he reads through the whole manual and I've already given up. I'm just like, all right, let's play it now, I guess. And I'm feeling a bit let down. But as he's playing through a new game though, 10 minutes into it, he comes across his first Jiggy. And by this point, I'm not even expecting him to say it differently, so I don't even pay that much attention to it. So he gets it, and he's reading it out loud, and he says, Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. So it's Banjo, Jinjo, Jiggy. And he keeps reading what the Jiggy's saying, and even though I may look completely normal on the outside, on the inside I'm celebrating that I have unearthed another gem. And a little side note to this, if you've ever played Banjo-Kazooie, you know that when Gruntilda speaks, her voice goes like rah, 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 or something like that? Well, whenever Gruntilda started talking, he didn't imitate it like that. For some reason, he decided to add a B at the beginning of it, so he'd go ba ba be ba 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 be. 
So like I said, I'd go back to my house after playing with him, and I'd start making my theories. So I know he doesn't do the Y replacement for words like banjo or jinjo, so I'm thinking there's something about the double G's in Jiggy. So I decided I'd test my theory by taking a comic book to school the next day. Because according to my calculations, if he pronounces Jiggy Jigji, then he should pronounce Juggernaut Jugjurnaut. So the next day, I take the comic book in my backpack, and I walk up to him in recess and I show it to him. And I point to the panel where the juggernaut is, and I say, he's my favorite. And he grabs my comic book, he looks at the page, and then he responds with, Nah, I don't like the juggernaut. He's stupid. So I'd go through this sort of thing all the time with him. I would think that I'd found some sort of pattern, but whenever I tested it out, he'd foil me every time. Like when we played Fatal Fury Special, he'd say Fatal Furry Special. So after that, I showed him Brutal, Paws of Fury, to test out two theories. One reason was to see how he said Fury this time, but I also wanted to see if he was doing it on purpose. Because if he said Fatal Furry, and it's a game about humans fighting each other, if he were doing it on purpose, then Paws of Fury, a game that's actually about furry animals fighting each other, then I figured it'd be too good an opportunity for him to resist saying it. So we put the game in, he says Paws of Fury, perfectly pronounced. So I'd have to scratch that theory off in my head and go back to the drawing board. We'd be playing a game called Bob, and he'd pronounce it B.O.B. And when I showed him a game called Biofreaks, he did the same thing as he did with Bob, so he said BioF.R.E.A.K.S. And when he did that, I thought I'd finally caught him, but then that theory blew up in smoke when we played another game called Evo, and he called it simply Evo and not E.V.O. He called Diddy Kong Racing Diddy Kong Racing, but he called Beetle Adventure Racing Beetle Adventure Raisin, like the fruit. Contra 3 The Alien Wars was Contra 3 The Alien Wars. Gradius 3 though, that one was Gradius E. Joe and Mac? Joe and Mac. The Adventures of Batman and Robin? The Adventures of Batman Robin. And just to fuck with me some more, Battletoads and Double Dragon? Battletoads and the Double Dragon. So this kept going on for weeks, and I felt myself going crazy every night before I went to bed at my house. And it would keep going on and on until I finally couldn't take it anymore, so I decided to not play games with him and stop this madness. So I didn't hang out with him anymore for a couple of months, and in that time, I played games by myself or with my brothers at home. And at first I was relieved I could finally just sit down and play a game without thinking too much, but later on I'd find myself playing a game and wondering how he would have pronounced things. I'd play Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball, and I'd wonder if he would have said Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball. Or I'd imagine how he would have pronounced Mischief Makers if I'd played it with him. So shortly after that, I was in school, and I happened to overhear him talking about games with another one of his friends, just like I had the first time. And he started saying things in that way that he did, and that's when I realized that, instead of making myself go crazy with theories and asking myself why over and over, that I should just stop asking so many questions and enjoy his gift while I still had a chance. I realized that it was time for me to grow up. So I started going over to his place to play games again, but this time I didn't even wonder why he'd say things the way he did, and it was awesome. Like the time we played Turok, and on the title screen, he didn't say Turok, he called the game Trunks, like the Dragon Ball Z character. Or the time we played Ninja Gaiden 1, and he called it Ninja Gaiden, and then he died super quick, and a minutes later we played Ninja Gaiden 2, and he called it Ninja Gaiden 2. But then he dies super quick in Ninja Gaiden 2, when we go on to Ninja Gaiden 3, and he calls it Ninja Gaiden 3. When we played Wolfenstein 3D, he said Wolfenstein 3D, but when we played Earthworm Jim 3D, he called it Earthworm Jimed. So we hung out and we played games for like a year, but after that time, he told me he'd grown out of games and he started liking soccer more. And we didn't hang out as much after that, but I was always happy for that one year he was able to give me. But his story doesn't end there though. The legend of that guy still lives on through me, because I still say stuff like he used to say it back then. So I guess now in a way, I've become the guy that some people might hear pronouncing things in a weird way, and then they start wondering why I say it like that. So here's to that guy, wherever he may be. I hope he's still out there somewhere, making people do double takes when he pronounces things in his own unique way. 